Hello everyone, my name is Rijal Abdul Hassani and like most people who grew up watching television a lot, I grew up watching a lot of animation throughout the year like SpongeBob SquarePants, Avatar, Tom and Jerry, and many more. But the Japanese animation really stuck with me from my childhood until now. So today, I will tell you a brief history of Japanese animation, which is also called anime. Animation in Japan began in the early 20th century, when filmmakers started to experiment with techniques pioneered in France, Germany, the United States, and Russia. A claim for the earliest Japanese animation is Katsudo Sashin, created in 1907 by an unknown creator. In 1917, the first professional and publicly displayed works began to appear. Animators such as Oten Shimokawa, Seitaro Kitayama, and Junichi Kouchi, who is considered as the fathers of anime, produced, numer produced numerous films, the oldest surviving of which is Kouchi's Namakura Gatana. By the mid-1930s, animation was well established in Japan as an alternative format to the live-action industry. It suffered competition from foreign producers such as Disney, and many animators continued to work with cheaper cut-out animation rather than cell animation. Other creators, including Kenzo Masaoka and Mitsuyo Seo, nevertheless made great strides in technique, benefiting from the patronage of the government which employed animators to produce educa educational shorts and propaganda. In 1940, the government dissolved several artist organizations to form the Shin Nippon Mangaka Kyokai, or the New Japanese Mangaka Association. The first talk anime was Chikara to Ona no Yononaka in 1933, a short film produced by Masaoka. The first feature-length anime film was Momotaro, Sacred Sailors, in 1945, produced by Seo with, its, with a sponsorship from the Imperial Japanese Navy. The 1950s saw a proliferation of short animated advertisements made in Japan for television broadcasting. In the, 1960, in the 1960s, manga artist and animator Osamu Tezuka adapted and simplified many Disney animations techniques to reduce cost and limit frame counts in his productions. He originally intended this as temporary measures to allow him to produce materials on a tight schedule with an inexperienced staff. Though many of his limit, limited animations practices would later come to define the medium style. Three Tales in 1960 was the first anime film broadcast on television the first anime television series was Instant History in, in 1961 to uh, 1964. An early and influential success was Astro Boy in 1963 to 1966, a television series directed by Tezuka based on his manga of the same name. Many animators at Tezuka's Mushi production would later establish major studios. In conclusion, the history of Japanese animation had been recorded since 1920 and started to grow and become popular in the early 1960s. However, the popularity of anime didn't stop in on, only in Japan, but as, the te as technology improved, it became popular worldwide. So, uh, I think that's all from me. Thank you for listening. See you again.